Today, we're going to create our own music using a music generation model. So we're going to use a Facebook music generation model. And when you have something like an 80s pop track with bassy drums and synth, you'll get something like this. Now for the second audio file, what I did was we have a max new tokens parameter here when we go to generate this. And the first one was set to 256. The next one was set to 512. So it's going to be about double the length. And this is how you increase the length of your music. If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, they have over 537,000 models and counting. And when you go to huggingface.co, on the left-hand side, they're going to have all of them categorized. And the one that we're going to focus on today is text to audio. And again, we're going to use the Music Gen large model from Facebook. And even though this may not be as popular as something like Stable Diffusion, last month it still had about 160,000 downloads. Okay, now for the coding part. The first thing we want to do is install all the requirements. I'll have a requirements.txt file for you. So all you have to type is pip install dash r requirements.txt. Now this Facebook music gen large model didn't have an inference server that was free that we could try. If you go to the deploy of this model, you can look at inference endpoints that has a dedicated one, but this isn't free, right? This is something for production ready deployments. You don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to actually write the Python code that would be used on the server anyways. I'm going to be using transformers. And this is a little bit more intense on my local machine. So we're going to try this on the local machine, but I'm probably going to end up running it on a better server on RunPod really quick, just so I can actually get an output to show you. But if your local machine can handle this, you're not paying for anything. Now back to the code, we import everything. We get all of the pre-trained data. And now for the processor, this is where we put in the text of what kind of music we want to create. Okay, for the text, this time we're going to do something. I want like a Metallica sound. We'll see what actually happens from this. Okay, now for the audio values for the model, the guidance scale uh, set to three here. This is, seems to be kind of a standard to get the best output from the input that you want the model to create. The max new tokens, again, this is the length of the music file, which is going to be a dot .wav file that you want to create. So we can try 1024 and see how long this is. 512 was about 10 seconds, so I suspect this should be about 20 seconds. Okay, we retrieve the sampling rate, and then in order to write this to an actual file, you use the scipy library, and then we're going to write it to music gen output Metallica, and then we run it. Okay, I ran it. It created the Metallica file over here. I imported it into VLC Media Player. Let's see how it actually sounds. Not bad, sort of. I think maybe try to do a little guitar solo at the end there. I don't know. But Hey, it kind of did what I asked it to. All right, this is day 14. Thank you for following along with this journey. Hope this was like a little bit of a fun model exercise to where we can create our own music for whatever you want. Now, again, all these can be run locally. Sometimes I have to use a RunPod GPU because it's so much better than my local machine. My local machine just would take forever to run it. And that's okay. But just understand that all these can be run locally on your machine if it can handle it. The idea with some of these videos is that it gives you insight on how to do it then you can get more ideas how to improve it, okay? Always try to improve anything that I'm doing. I'll see you guys next video.